Hello. If you pay me like I say, I work unlike you say. But if you pay me like you want, I will work however I want, the way I want. So this is a shibu, guys. There is this way of saying here in Italy that says that if you pay me enough, I will suck your dick. Uh, I mean, I will do whatever you say to me. Uh, but if you don't pay me enough, uh, yes, I will suck. I will work for you, but uh, maybe I will not do a great job. And this is, they are very powerful to wear this shirt, guys. Where the sheeple says, oh, it's beautiful to be a slave. So quickly, guys, this will be a very quick one. The world. The little children want to be, want the reptilian to save them. Save Afghanistan, save the world. World. Why you have abandoned the, uh, Afghanistan? Do something. And of course, who they are asking it uh, to do something? To the reptilians, guys. Politicians. So I will stand on this bridge. I will not drink and eat anything until the politicians take immediate, immediate, just and moral action. It's very funny. Uh, uh, politicians and moral near to each other. It's very, it's very action regarding Afghanistan. And for the rest of the world, yes, the, the reptilians should save all the world. Where there are wars, which reptilian causes, may children and women be safe first. Uh, why? We don't know why. Uh, you who see this, uh, be grateful to the gift of this uh, of this life. Uh, God bless you. Alhamdulillah. And then I was seeing, he put like. A solar system here? Are we still human? Yes, that my question also. Maybe some children have drawn this, or maybe he. <laughs> and he has put like the Alpha and the Omega. There is a atomic bomb explosion here. Ah, maybe this is the fire of the forest. Alpha, Omega. There's rain, so climate change maybe, there's a moon, and then there's some Arab, and again the solar system. Maybe it's trying to tell us something, but you know, I will not waste my time trying to decode this because this guy is a moron. He's asking to the to reptilians to save him. So keep staying there, moron, and don't forget to, to use the, the muzzle here. are dumb sheeple in the street performing some satanic shit for the climate please take everything we own we are to be blamed for the climate so put us in concentration camps so we consume zero yes we are already dead like we are showing it to you Greta than cars okay sheeple is asking for it I, I will do some performing. I, I'm an artist. Uh, that's blood. Ah, this is what uh, c climate is causing. Uh, beautiful. So, guys, um, in this one, the main feature of Nash Fiddy will be. Well, we're, we're going to talk about bubbles, but that at the end. But uh, and there is this NGO, of course, as I say, the word NGO, you already can. Uh, suspect who's behind that, you know, the reptilians, and and this uh, NGO is called, here in Italy, it's very famous because uh, it's called Hands Off Cain, Nessuno Tocchi Caino, uh, Hands Off Cain, so do not touch Cain, yes, Cain killed some sheep, but ah, he is good, you do not touch him, let Cain express himself, <laughs> slowly he will grow up. Ah, look, look at the Gucci here of Reptilian, guys. Ah, the NGO, I love you so much, guys. They want to give all these rights to us, guys, but Gucci. 
Gucci Reptilians. Um, and so the logo is, of course, uh, let's insert our sperm of the reptilian to the sheeple, and they are totally unaware. We, the reptilians here, black and white here with the triangles and everything. Here is a reptilian guys trying to make the world a better place for them, of course. So this is a situation of uh, uh, penal death penalty. In red, bad, according to them, you know, there's capital punishment. And in blue, ah, uh, in blue, the justice is triumphant, wherever you see blue. And so we have this reptilian here that he was a left-wing terrorist guys <laughs> let's put his face out <laughs> so this is in his wikipedia that guy so he agrees and everything everybody knows that he was a left-wing terrorist which of course the left-wing terrorism guys was reptilians th themselves you know that would cause this mayhem so that to give you know just like terror with terrorism you know do something bad so that then the reptilian have the excuse to to control us better. But now, from from being a left wing terrorist, now he's a human right, human right a supporter and advocate of nonviolence. I hope he's doing something ag against you know these people trying to kill us with the muzzles and uh, this vaccine, but. Maybe we'll see. So he, uh, he in eighty six he abandoned the armed struggle and Marxism, Marxist ideology. Well, maybe you don't realize it. What we are going through now, it is Marxism. But again, guys, uh, these uh, serpents just change the names, but never change. By adopting a left libertarian, uh, left libertarian guys, and the party I will show you now, guys, with what party this guy is. A radical party as you can see there's a huge octagon uh, w which tells you everything the blue background like the European uh, flag you know and uh, let me go here and, uh, no you know what I'll do it not in a uh, in a better way there's a way to adjust the light here <laughs> just to open the window uh, without going through this shit here so let me put this here and so so now uh, of course since Rutilin is doing a great job United Nations love him the great success of Elia which is this Rutilin here without hairs uh, um, was the United Nations moratorium on the death penalty 2007 you know guys let, let's no more deaths you know uh, and I'll talk about this in Albania when people, you know, there was death penalty and uh, everything was peaceful and nobody did anything, you know. But they want to get rid of that guy. Let's get rid even of uh, pedophilia and all this guy. Let's liberate the world from all these rules, this nasty stuff. So proposed by Italy government, Shitli's government, he was an Italian parliament, so, so he, he was also a politician, guys. From 2006 to 2008, so our has it all, guys. Uh, Non-violence, guys. Here's a reptilian trying to make a world a better place for you. Here he is while he's thinking uh, on how to fuck the sheeple even better. Yeah. Here's a reptilian, guys. Just look at their faces, guys. These are reptilians, guys. Look at their wealthy faces, guys. Ah, oh, they love you so much. Ah, oh, they put a picture of uh, Buddhist there. They are poor like them, guys. They don't have villas in, in, in every place of Italy. No, no, they're good. And look, they are against the, you know, this uh, lethal injection, you know. But I, I hope they will be against this, uh, this current little injection that we have right now but no they are against Iran 40 years of uh, theocracy, theocracy uh, um, hangings stonings torture how dare they were they are so primitive 
I mean, let's let's when democracy will 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 come to them. Uh, but the reptilians are working to give them uh, freedom, like we have. And so I wanted to. Many of you have no idea, for example, that uh, because here in Italy, guys, uh, Al Albanians are ashamed to say that they are Albanians, guys. Except me, of course, because I don't give a shit about what uh, the sheep thought about me. Every time I would say to them. In fact, what they would do, guys, I Albanians, uh, since, so, just a quick thing so that you have an idea. In the 90s, we left Albania because the communism fell. And so we, we Albanians and many other uh, communist c countries, were moved by force you know, uh, because they wanted us to come in the West Europe. And so, uh, they... Albanians were afraid to say they were Albanians because if you try to hide it a little bit, we Albanians, the Italians, might look similar. So, uh, or even if uh, our face might not look the same, at least you give to the guy the benefit of the doubt. For example, you uh, th there are Albanians guys that would say, oh, well, "I am a a Greek," for example. Or, or they will put another na nationality, but never say that they are Albanian guys, because it's like saying. I I am a piece of shit. I am a I am I am a pedophile. Th this is how bad it was, and it still is, guys. Albanians are seen like like pieces of shit, guys. I'm telling you this clearly, guys. I'm Albanian, and so what they would do, and why this? Why this? Because what what happens, guys, is that they had a plan for for uh, this. Im immigrant that came to Italy, for example. In my case, I know Italy because I lived here in Italy. I was moved, I moved to, to Italy. So the plan of, uh, as soon as this migrant came, guys, with that huge ship full of uh, Albanians, as I've shown in many other videos, they would let them do prostitution, let them do drugs, pushers, you know, all this stuff, you know let them deal with all kinds of criminality and everything without punishing them guys and this is my my, my uh, what i want to say in albania the same albanians guys would not even dare to touch you guys anyone and yet when he, they came here in the liberal where this monster here wants us to be without uh, they n not only want that people to not uh, kill people to uh, uh, death uh, penalty, but do not even put them in jail now, guys. This is what this NGO wants to do, and they will arrive at that, guys. And of course, because they want uh, the prison free for real, you know, dangers, you know, which us, which is us, guys. They want to put us in jail. Uh, so, so th this is what I'm trying to say, guys people are nasty because they need to be punished and so in communism you could go out in the street there was no criminality in communism as I told this in other videos and so but as soon as they came in Italy the place for Albanians was to be the bad boys and so they would let and, and also blame them in the, in the television and everything ah this is Albanians this is Alba ah the Albanians did this Albanians did that well, yes, uh, they knew, for example, the the Italian male is a pussy. They, they, they do nothing, guys. They are not uh, capable anymore because they have no testosterone, you know. They are total pussies. And uh, they still have this uh, view that, uh, oh, there is mafia here in Italy. But, guys, mafia is a state, guys. It's not Italians, guys. <laughs> so... It's all theater, it's all... It exists only in television, guys. So... They knew very well that Albanians would take... Uh, because we are more awakened than the Italians, guys. <laughs> so it was a consequence of not not having jobs. What would, so we moved from Albania, communism, to Italy. There's no jobs. What you do? You try to invent jobs. And so 
the system guys the system uh, provides you can see it like like a drawer guys where you put clothes for example and, and it's like divided of uh, many compartments that is the system guys it's like when you put water to that uh, thing that you put the in the ice you know they made the ice cube you know you put water and the water goes to all the fields all the holes you know and that is the system guys the system shapes water water sea of sheep the system shapes them and how they shape them by punishing or not punishing guys the stick or the carrot guys the system shapes itself and the sheeple in it the way they want so that's why guys uh, who has the power to of the environment can shape the animal the human animal guys there's no other way uh, we can like this is powerful what I'm saying right now guys because you we might fight on on and on about lots of things but it's the system that shapes how many criminals there will be in the system how many good people there will be in the system how many uh, this kind of people will be. the system decides everything guys and then the only thing that uh, is in our ha in our hand of, of the this water that fills what is to be filled there that the system gives to them to survive you know the only thing that we have is the, the choice will will I just be shaped by the system as it want me to, to be shaped or will I take my shape and keep it I, I, I don't want to be a, a, an ice cube like they want me to be very squared and you know, just exactly like I don't want to be functional and I want to be a, 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 a whatever I was saying star you know, better not talk about that anyway. I was saying a, a triangle that's not, not triangle I want to be a sphere I want to be a fucking sphere so they cannot shape me in any other way I want to be a sphere that's uh, the, the, the but it's very hard to turn out to, to be a sphere in, in this ice cube uh, shit that wants you to make a square yes that is hard but uh, that's uh, for hard people like us guys for very tough guys like us so guys this is uh, my my thinking on uh, on this all this punishment thing that they of course uh, I know that you know humans should not punish and especially the state should not be the one that punishes people and, and even kill people you know uh, but again we are not, we're not dealing with uh, men anymore guys like you know you do something bad to me you, you should uh, expect the consequences of what you did you know and so uh, I was saying you know Albanians came here and all of a sudden became criminals because the system that was waiting for them here was already ready to shape them that way um, the 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 role that Albanians play here as criminals for example and, and and again it was just a few very few bad apples guys Albanians the majority of the Albanians guys thanks to this uh, terrorism propaganda against oh, Albanians this did this Albanian did that we w would be like this oh man I, I'm imagine you are you are uh, let's say an American living in France guys and French television says ah this American uh, this American killed this this American uh, raped this and you'll be oh shit how am, how am I supposed to go out in the street now here in France with all French people who hate me that's why Albanians guys had to to even change their their names like my brother did guys so that people will not ask him why you have this such a strange name and in fact when I tell tell them uh, my name Marcel they all don't what where are you from so the first thing that they ask I'm from fucking Albania you dumb sheeple do you have anything to say you dumb moron I'll eat you all <laughs> no of course not but uh, just telling them that uh, yes I'm Albanian and the first thing the Italian will say guys is oh, but 
don't worry, there's nothing wrong about that. And I would say, what the fuck do you want? Who was worried? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? And I would say to them, man, yes, m maybe you are trying to say that to, to be uh, uh, like polite and everything, but don't do that, man. It's very racist what you are saying right now. Like, like, let's say you are a, a black guy, you know, and you go, uh, uh, and the white guy says, yes, he's black, but don't worry, he's a good guy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and in fact, they will say to me, you are Albanian, but you. You are not. You're more like an Italian. And I would say to them, "What the fuck do you know about Albanians except what you saw in television, you dumb moron?" And you know, guys, when I see uh, black people, you know, that want this reparation, all the, all this fight against, you know, racism and all this stuff. I mean, talk about racism, guys. We Albanians here in Italy, guys, we were seen as pieces of shit, guys. I lived through this shit. F since I came here in the 90s, guys. And I don't ask reparation, all this shit. So you pussies, you, you, you black guys pussies that are turned on by this shit by the people at the top, stop being pussies, okay? Again, uh, no more. Because now we have to close with a beautiful thing, guys. It's time for training! <laughs> <laughs> the bubble is back, guys. Let's listen what Trani has to say to us, guys. And uh, uh, let's listen. She's talking about what uh, they are going to do to uh, to the sheep that they have in control in New Zealand. Now I'm going to raise this shit now. Otherwise, you cannot see me. So, are you ready for the speech? The reptilian is putting in lockdown New Zealand again. And this is the speech, and I will interact with the speech now, guys. I will mute myself because uh, you have to enjoy all this uh, shit now. Uh, are you ready? Let's go. Try and go. Tell us what we can do, uh, we can can do, and cannot do. The bubble is back. Let's listen. The reasons for leaving your home under alert level four include physical exercise in your neighborhood. Visiting the supermarket, dairy, or pharmacy. Necessary medical care, or getting a test. And if you undertake these activities, please wear a mask when you leave the house. Let me expand in a little more detail on each of those reasons for leaving your home. People in the past have asked if they can leave their home for a walk, for instance. Yes, you can or to take your children out on their scooters, for instance. But we ask people to stay two metres away from anyone you pass. Stay local and do not congregate. Don't talk to your neighbours. Please keep to your bubbles. It comes down again to those very simple principles. We know from overseas uh, cases of the Delta variant that it can be spread by people simply walking past one another. So keep those movements outside to the bare minimum. Wear a mask and make sure you keep up that physical distancing. The bubble is back. The people in your bubble should be the people in your immediate household or those dependent on you. Once you go into a bubble, you must stay in it and others cannot join. That risks spreading COVID. If you are completely isolated or you live alone, remember you can join a bubble with one other person that you have contact with. It needs to be just you and that person though. You must be faithful to them, and they must be faithful to you. Those in those circumstances will remember those rules from our last level four. If you have multiple contacts with others, that is where the risk increases, and we cannot afford that. You can drive locally to your supermarket to get food, but again, we ask that you maintain your physical distance, again, to two metres from others who may be undertaking essential errands. And again, please wear a mask. Other than that, we're asking people to stay home. Only shop when you need to. And it is preferable that there is just one person per household that goes shopping to reduce any risk of spread and that they follow the instructions of staff. Remember to always act like you have COVID-19. Stay clear of others. Don't put them in harm's way in the same way you'd expect that they don't put you in harm's way.